some of the things you are about to listen to might be hard to swallow at first, but it's guaranteed if you apply these lessons to your life, success, money, health, self-love, and wealth will follow. So, since schools don't teach anything like it, please take advantage of the enlightening information we can have nowadays and change old patterns for you, your kids, and anyone you love. It's not only about the poor or the rich and can be applied in every aspect of our lives. 95% of our life is coming from the programs that we get in the first seven years of life. And that's why poor people stay poor and rich people stay rich. My name is Rose and welcome to my channel. Bruce Lipton considers the movie The Matrix not science fiction. It is a documentary and that is a fact. Children under seven years old have a lower vibration than consciousness. They use their imagination for everything. For example, kids play a tea party with mud pastries, but to them, it's real. Another example is when a kid rides a broom like a horse or pretends to fly with fake wings. That's why it is unfortunate that only about 5% of our life uses our conscious mind, which is a creative tool. So the remaining 95% will be whatever program is inserted in our subconscious during the first seven years of existence. The Jesuits, for 400 years, they were boasting. People didn't understand. They say, give me a child until it's seven and I will show you the man. Because they knew seven years was the program period. And 95% of your life after that will be whatever that program is. This is not new. I mean, there's the famous book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad and basically said you come from a poor family and you could struggle your whole life and try to get rich, but you're not gonna make it. And if you come from a rich family, you could be stupid your whole life, not because it was thinking, but it was unconscious behavior that was downloaded from rich families into kids, which is unconscious. So they're, they're making the right moves unconsciously. And that's the same thing with poor people. Poor people have beliefs from the family Oh, you can't make it, life's a struggle, things are hard. Who do you think you are? And if that's the program you get, then 95% of the day you will sabotage yourself. So children will record their parents for the first seven years of their life and absorb everything from them. A new baby will look at the parents as a model and first reference, and they learn who the parents are in the first weeks of their life. Before they become conscious, if they don't have any programs, what will they be conscious of? What kind of programs are required to live in this world? So they watch their parents, siblings, and the community, because they must learn many rules to be functional members of a household and society. So now, parents can use this knowledge to teach a more positive way of living to their kids instead of following the same habits from older generations. Bruce Lipton also says, you want to train the subconscious mind? Fake it till you make it. Means if you are not happy, but want to be happy, then repeat all the time. I am happy. I am happy. And if someone says, well, you don't look happy, you say, I am who I am talking to by repetition. I am talking to my subconscious, okay? If my subconscious gets that I am happy, I won't have to repeat it again. So you need to make that a habit and do it religiously to make it work. Oh, so the things you like that come into your life come in because you have a program that supports that. But anything you struggle with, work hard at, put a lot of effort into making it happen, why you're working so hard, inevitably you have a program that doesn't support that conclusion and you're trying to override the program. So you don't need to do a lot of shrink and psychology stuff. You just look at your life and say, where am I struggling? Because wherever you're struggling, inevitably it's a program in your subconscious that does not support that destination you've been looking for. I can feed you with an idea that this pill that we just got from the pharmaceutical company, it's the greatest, best thing for your issue. And I give you this pill and you get better. 
And then later you find out it was a sugar pill and everybody goes, yeah, that's called the placebo effect. And I go, what does it really mean? I said, you didn't get healed by the pill, you got healed by the belief in the pill. And I go, well, yeah, that, that's what placebo is all about. Everybody goes, yeah, I know about the placebo. And I go, yeah, but that's a result of positive thinking. What about negative thinking? Uh, and this is what we don't talk about, but the reality is it's equally powerful in regard to affecting your biology as is positive thinking, but it works in the opposite direction. A negative thought is called the nocebo effect. Now it's time to wake up because our negative thinking is, is manifesting a negative life experience. When the conscious mind stays in the front, you are in complete control. Wishes, desires, whatever you want. But the autopilot takes over when your conscious mind changes into a thought or starts thinking. So if your mind wanders, you are being run by the subconscious. So the conscious mind wishes and desires. The subconscious mind, program. So if you took the wishes and desires and make those programs, you don't even have to think about it. You will automatically, 95% of the day, be playing behaviors to manifest those wishes and desires. I had the knowledge academically. It's like, oh my God, look at the research. What does it mean? I, I understood it from the level. And with all that knowledge, it didn't change my life. People read self-help books. I go, well, you read the book. You got a lot of knowledge. I say, is your life changed? No, but you got a lot of knowledge. And so here's the difference. The conscious mind uh, is creative and can learn in any number of ways. Read a self-help book, go to a lecture, listen to this program, and conscious mind's going to get some awareness. And I go, yeah, but subconscious mind doesn't learn that way. I go, right, it doesn't. Subconscious mind learns in two fundamental ways naturally. Hypnosis, which is the first seven years. And after age seven, how do you put new programs in? Repetition, practice. You want to drive a car? You didn't learn, learn how by just getting in the seat and put the key in. You had to practice driving the car. You want to learn uh, the alphabet. How many times did you go from A to Z? Uh, you know, try to go to A to Z before you can complete it. And once you've completed it, You didn't have to go back and do it again. Knowledge is power, and the lack of knowledge is a lack of power. We have been deprived of knowledge. We operate as defenseless individuals. We are powerful, yet we have been programmed to be the opposite. And that's how other people control us. But there are options. If you don't like how the program turns out, you can reprogram it and get the things you want. And most importantly, we have to eliminate fear because worry is the biggest motivator on our planet today. I am afraid of this. I'm scared of that. How much will that cost? Oh no, new disease is coming up and so on. Nobody likes to live in fear. If you change your programming, you can have a whole new life. And if this video helped you in any way, Please don't forget to share with others that also wish to live the extraordinary life they deserve. Thanks so much for watching and have a lovely day.